in this video, we return to the concept of independence, so independent events. So a couple videos ago, I said that events A and B are independent if and only if the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A. Or in other words, intuitively, if we know B happened, then that tells us absolutely nothing about the probability of A happening. Now I'm going to present another definition and actually show you that these two definitions are equivalent. So A and B are independent if and only if the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the probability of A intersect B. So again, this is a definition, meaning that if I tell you two events are independent, you know this equality holds. And if I tell you that they're dependent, this equality does not hold. And if you check this and this equality holds, you know that A and B are independent. Also, if you check this and the equality does not hold, you know that A and B are dependent. All right, so let's talk about why these two definitions are equivalent to each other. First, let's look at our first definition. So our first definition of independence is written here, and I've just rewritten it down here. Now, let's take our definition of conditional probability. So the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of the intersection divided by the probability of B. Now, let's just take the probability of B and multiply it across. Then we get the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the probability of A intersect B. So now we know anytime one of these definition holds, then the other definition must also hold. In other words, these two definitions are equivalent. So in the future, if you're checking whether two events are independent, you can check whether this equality holds. You could check whether this equality holds. Or of course, you could check whether this equality holds. All right, let's think more about independence by looking at a couple of examples. So let's have two events. A is going to be the event that I go rock climbing today and B is the event that I go to yoga today. So suppose that I go climbing about 10% of the days and that I go to yoga about 60% of the days. Furthermore, assume that I do both of them in any given day about 10% of the time. All right, so first thing let's think about is are A and B independent? In other words, is going to yoga independent of going climbing? So if we want to check are these two things independent, Let's just choose one of these equalities and see if it holds. So we're going to find that A and B are not independent because the probability of A times the probability of B is 0.1 times 0.6. And this is definitely not equal to the probability of A intersect B. So definitely going climbing and going to yoga are dependent events. OK, so we know that going to yoga and going climbing are dependent. What about? not going to yoga and not going climbing. These are also going to be dependent events. So you can calculate this yourself. Of the probability of A complement times the probability of B complement, in other words, the probability of not going to yoga times the probability of not going climbing is 0.9 times 0.4. And then if you calculate the probability of A complement intersect B complement, you will see that 0.9 times 0.4 does not equal the probability of not climbing and not going to yoga. More generally, if you know that two events A and B are independent, then that tells you A complement and B complement are independent. And this is an if and only if statement. So if you know A complement and B complements are independent, then also A and B are independent. Now for some reason, a lot of students get independence confused with disjoint. So remember, We'd say that A and B are disjoint if they do not overlap at all. OK, so in the context of climbing and yoga, this would mean that um, if A and B are disjoint, that I never go climbing and to yoga on the same day. I never do both on the same day. These two events are disjoint. Could these events be independent? And the answer is definitely not. So first of all, intuitively, let's think about this. Suppose that I tell you that I do go climbing today, 
then I know that we're in A here. So could we possibly be in B? Definitely not, because there's no overlap between the two. I never do both in the same day. Now we can look at this with equations as well. Um, so the probability of A intersect B, I said I never do both in the same day. So this probability, the intersection is zero. And assuming that the probability of climbing is non-zero and the probability of yoga is non-zero, then zero cannot ever equal the probability of A times the probability of B. In other words, A and B can never be independent and disjoint. So anytime you see that two events are disjoint, you immediately know they must be dependent.